What's up guys, welcome back to Bay and Beyond Fishing. Another day, another chance to fish. All right, so we are up early. It is 7.30, I just picked Josh up. Uh, we got to our spot, but we have to go to Safeway real quick, quick drop off. And today, uh, I think we're still gonna go for halibut from the shore. Um, we got some herring, we got some frozen herring Josh caught a while back. And um, you know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I get to do a catch and cook. All right, we'll see you then. All right, bye. All right, gloves. Oh, nice. mistake one eternity later yep All right guys, so uh, this was the first catch of the day. It was a baby bat ray. Uh, I didn't realize I was recording in a time-lapse mode over here, but um, here you go. Uh, so we decided to stay a little bit longer after this. At that point, it was maybe around an hour and a half after slack tide. Slack tide was around like 10.30 or something like that. We decided to stay a little longer, uh, you know, finish up our, our herring. Um, and you know, about half an hour before we decided to leave, we actually saw some uh, sturgeon jump. So we had, uh, we switched over. Um, I had my toolbox um, and you know just so you know I me and Josh have been going sturgeon hunting for for a long long time uh, we already went like three times this uh, this year on a boat um, and one time on another another place offshore zero luck zero luck so my morale for sturgeon had had is gone at this point um, and you know as you know this the the season's coming to an end it's pretty everyone's fishing for halibut at this point. Uh, but we saw a couple jump, so we decided to switch over to a sturgeon rig. I had some in my toolbox. Check out right. what happens. Check mine too. This is use up this bait. What? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow. If it's a keeper. <laughs> it, yeah, there's a slot limit. Okay. It looks kind of wow. good though. You might be able to make some uh, caviar. <laughs> It's worth it, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Just cut it. Oh, all right, all right, wait, all right. Wait, wait. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Huh? You have a bag? <laughs> a small bag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Over 40, less than 70 for sure. 56. That was sweet. Thank you. Thank you. I got. I got. You got it, right? Yep. <laughs> oh, my shoulder, man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's not Holy, <laughs> shit, this thing's heavy as. Yeah, dude. There's no joke, dude. There's no joke. <sighs> It's in the books. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <sighs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick of it. Oh. Sturgeon facts. In California, you need a separate sturgeon card on top of your fishing license. And you need to submit the card whether you catch a sturgeon that year or not. All right, guys, we got what we came for. What a day. Uh, we just got back to Josh's house. We're going to clean up um, and process the sturgeon, all right? So stay tuned and we'll see you then. guys so what a day uh, me and Josh we processed it we're back at home now and I've got my pieces I gave some to my mom and my brother as well Josh got his he's gonna do hot pot with his family and you know well, he's gonna send me pictures hopefully I can show you uh, anyways we got ours right here uh, we got a, a bone piece uh, I'm gonna make soup with it and we got some other fillets um, I it, it looks kind of wet I just left it in uh, some salt water to keep it firm uh, for the last like 30 minutes or so um, but I cut up into steaks so we're gonna do it a couple of ways uh, we'll see how it goes all right let's go
I'm gonna do longer stalks. That should be good. Juicy onion. This is the juiciest onion I've ever seen. All right guys, so that was a, an effort. So we did it three ways actually. Um, yeah, that Thai way, the lemongrass turned out to be not that great. So <laughs> I did what I could. Uh, we did some cabbage and we just stir fried it, kind of like that. Uh, we got the soup. The soup, so I've heard, or so I've heard is, is really tasty. Um, sturgeon soup, but I've never, I've never had it. We got the, uh, the spinal cord. <laughs> it's weird. And I got this other one right here actually, but this is like really tough and it's the cartilage. I'm gonna try that later. Um, and we got the spicy uh, Sichuan style um, sturgeon fish right there. So let's go for it. Uh, I'm gonna start out with this one. Let me grab a piece. 
onions right there. Take them with the green onion. Yeah, man. That's good. That's really good, actually. But, the, like everyone says, it's true. Um, sturgeon, the texture is a lot, lot, lot like pork. Now, no matter what you eat in down south, they got some pork in it. Hey, there's some good fish. We got a fish in this, pork fish. <laughs> It's uh, very firm. It's still fish, but it is, it, the texture is almost identical to pork, I would say. All right, let's move on to, I wanna try the spicy sturgeon chili. That fits so well because you know if I tried I tr I've tried this recipe with other fish and unless you're really delicate with the cooking it tends to fall apart because this recipe kind of calls for like thinner slices of fish but with the sturgeon it's actually almost perfect I would say um, if I had anything different if I would do anything different next time I'd maybe cook it a little bit longer just so it's a little softer but the firmness and the chewiness is like perfect for that. All right, lastly, let's dig into the soup. So what we did is we just did the bones. Uh, there was a little bit of meat around it, but it's mostly the bones. We just did mushrooms, uh, green onion, ginger, and uh, some, some cooking wine, all right? Oh, that's good. It's so light. It's actually pretty, it's like a little bit sweet. So highly recommended. Um, I'd probably do more towards this one right here, actually. I'd probably use more of the fish to cook this one right here. And the soup. Anyways. All right, actually, I almost forgot. Um, here, I'm gonna try the uh, umbilical cord. Um, this was just put in the, in, the, in the same pot as the soup. Um, I'm gonna try it with nothing first and see what that's like. there's any definition of like flavorless it's that but the texture it's kind of like fat but the inside of it is like chewy a little bit I'm not gonna say it's bad but you know what let's let's put it in a little bit of ponzu sauce so I got a little ponzu sauce here I'm just gonna dip it and automatically it's like soaking up the the, the ponzu sauce already, so this might be a good vessel for the sauce, all right? Kind of good. <laughs> you definitely can't eat it by itself, but with something, it's definitely good. Um, and finally, the cartilage. So this is, this was, the cartilage. Sturgeon has so much cartilage in the bone and I usually like cartilage, like chicken, whatever. I'll, I'll eat cartilage, I love cartilage. So let's see. That's cartilage, all right. A little fishy cartilage, but it's good. Uh, I would recommend it probably cooking it with something, some flavor to overpower it, but I like the cartilage texture and it's straight up cartilage. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna eat this and, and enjoy the rest of our night. Um, thanks for watching. Um, it was an awesome day and I'm glad you guys can join me. All right, and we'll see you in the next one. May the fish be with you. See you later.